good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us today as we reach another important milestone in Fungible's journey. Last year was difficult on many levels, but the Fungible team was able to launch not one, but two product lines in spite of these challenges. First, we announced the availability of the Fungible Data Processing Unit, the core technology that powers our product portfolio. Shortly after that, we launched the Fungible Storage Cluster, the first systems product to harness the full capabilities of our DPU. This product is seeing great traction in the market as we continue to deliver highly differentiated features. When we launched the Fungible Storage Cluster a few months ago, I felt it was important to preview Fungible's broader vision, which is to revolutionize the agility, security, performance, reliability, and economics of data centers built on scale-out principles. While I would emphasize that our technology is broadly applicable to all data centers, our approach was to focus on data centers with the most demanding requirements. These are hyperscale data centers designed to support data-intensive applications. In line with this focus, today we will introduce fungible data centers. These are data centers that exploit the full power of Fungible's technology to deliver a complete, comprehensive, turnkey solution for bare metal virtualization that provides extremely high performance, that is simple to use, and that is also more economical than any hyperscale data center. The concept of Fungible data centers is easy to describe. This is a data center where all resources are implemented by servers connected to a local area network in such a way that the resources can be assembled on demand into virtual pools to address the needs of specific applications efficiently, securely, and at high performance. Now, while this capability is easy to describe, it has remained elusive for the industry. This is because a practical implementation needs to ensure three things. Number one, the total number of server types needs to remain small, even though the number of instances of these, each type, could be large. Each server type needs to be designed to deliver its resource at a near optimal point in the trade-off between performance, cost, and power. Number two, server instances need to interact with each other efficiently and transparently, independent of where in the data center they're located. This capability is crucial because it simplifies the process of assembling the set of servers that would be best for serving a given application. And finally, number three, the process of assembling the resources needs to be carried out by centralized software that has a global view of data center resources. This software needs to view infrastructure as an object that is the result of executing code, sometimes referred to as infrastructure as code. We call the software the composer, and its job is to provide a simple, repeatable experience for users. We purpose-built the fungible DPU to ensure that we can take care of the first two items. If you recall, the DPU solves two fundamental problems. Within a server, it is responsible for either performing all data-centric computation by itself, or for offloading these computations for CPUs, GPUs, and other applications processors. It is also responsible for implementing network protocols that enable highly efficient interactions between servers 
powered by the DPU, while also permitting interactions with servers that do not contain a DPU. This is for reasons of backwards compatibility. We coined the term hyper disaggregation to denote the disaggregation of resources that is both highly efficient and can also be done at very large scale. Now we have been busy developing fungible data center composer software to address the third key aspect of building fungible data centers. This software is based on technology developed by Cloudistics, a company we acquired last year. By combining the capabilities of our DPU with those of the composer, we are able to bring you revolutionary technology in the form of fungible data centers. So finally, let me now summarize the main points. A fungible data center is a data center built using a small number of server types, each powered by a fungible DPU, and each connected to a non-oversubscribed local area network built using standard IP Ethernet switches. The fungible DPU converts the standards-based IP Ethernet network into a high-performance, low-latency fabric that we call true fabric. It is this true fabric that permits us to disaggregate resources efficiently and at high performance. This is something the industry cannot do today. Each server type is responsible for providing specific compute or storage resources. For example, a storage server consists of a DPU and storage devices, for example, SSDs or even hard drives with the DPU performing all computations. A compute server, on the other hand, consists of a DPU and one or more instances of the appropriate applications engine, for example, CPU or GPU. In this case, the DPU performs data-centric computations, and the CPU or GPU performs applications levels computations. Now, the number of instances of each server type deployed in the data center is determined by the total amount of that type of resource that is needed. This is only normal. The data center composer is responsible for assembling on demand and within a few minutes a specific set of server instances to serve a particular application. At any time, multiple independent pools of resources would be allocated to different applications and separated from each other into ultra-secure partitions that we call bare metal virtualized data centers. Thus, a fungible data center is inherently multi-tenant. The set of compute, storage, and network resources assembled for a given application is, in fact, indistinguishable from a bare metal data center built specifically to run that application. Think about that for a moment. It should also be clear now that fungible data centers are designed to deliver bare metal data centers as a service anytime, anywhere, over the network.